Hi, I'm William Spaniel. Let's learn some game theory. Today we're going to talk about the odd rule and the free money game. I cover these in lesson 1.8 of Game Theory 101, the complete textbook. So let's start off with the odd rule. Almost all games have an odd number of equilibria. We've seen this in some of the games that we've covered so far. So the Prisoner's Dilemma had one equilibrium in pure strategies. Matching Pennies and the Mixed Strategy Algorithm game both had just one equilibrium as well. Those were both in mixed strategies. We saw that Battle of the Sexes had three equilibria, two in pure strategies, one in mixed strategies. And then in the videos, we didn't actually cover the full equilibria for the Stag Hunt and the Stoplight game. All we saw is that they both had two pure strategy Nash equilibria. But if you go back to those videos and take a look at those games, you'll see that if you run the mixed strategy algorithm on them, then they both have a mixed strategy Nash equilibrium, which means they have three equilibria in total, two in pure strategies, one in mixed strategies. So if almost all games have an odd number of equilibria, then that means games rarely have an infinite number or an even number of equilibria, and weak dominance is usually to blame. So in each of the last two videos on weak dominance and infinitely many equilibria, both of those games have an infinite number of equilibria, and they also have a weakly dominated strategy, which is what's causing this infinite number of equilibria to exist. What we haven't seen yet is a game with exactly an even number of equilibria. So not an odd number, not an infinite number, but exactly an even number of equilibria. And that's where the free money game comes in. So in this game today, I'm going to be offering you and your best friend some free money. And all you have to do to get this money is to unanimously vote to approve the resolution that says, yes, we want free money. So if as long as both of you both say yes to this resolution, then you both get the money. But as long as one of you says no, then no one's getting any money. And the vote here is going to be simultaneous and blind. Now, you might think that the only equilibrium is for both of you to say, yeah, I want the free money. But as you'll see, there's actually an equilibrium where you guys don't get the free money. And this is something that's a little bit strange about voting games, but you can get pretty much any outcome possible in voting games in a Nash equilibrium because of what we're about to see here. So the free money game just looks like this. Each player can vote yes or no. As long as both vote yes, then you both get a dollar. And as long as anyone votes no, then no one gets anything whatsoever. So it should be clear that yes, yes is a pure strategy Nash equilibrium, because as long as both players are getting something, then they're not going to want to profitably deviate, or in fact, they can't profitably deviate to voting no, because that means they'll go from getting one to zero. So that's a Nash equilibrium. But check this out. No, no is also a pure strategy Nash equilibrium. Why is that? Well, remember, a Nash equilibrium is just a set of strategies such that no player has any profitable deviation given what the other players are doing. So imagine you're thinking about player one here. If you're player one, if player two is voting no, then you do not have a profitable deviation because if you switch to voting yes, you get nothing, which is just exactly what you're getting when you're voting no. So that's not a profitable deviation for player one. And player two, like likewise doesn't have a profitable deviation as long as player one is voting no because she's stuck getting zero dollars out of that. Even if she switches her vote to yes, she's still getting zero. So that's not a profitable deviation for her, which means no, no is also Nash equilibrium. So we have two pure strategy Nash equilibria. That's an even number of equilibria. And all we need to do to prove that there aren't any more equilibria is just to show that we can't have any players mixing. And if we can show that no player is going to be willing to mix in this game, then that means there's going to be just an even number of equilibria, the yes, yes equilibrium and the no, no equilibrium. So to look at this, to see understand, or to see and understand why no player can mix in a Nash equilibrium, suppose that player one was mixing. So some percentage of the time he played yes, and some percentage of the time he played no. So imagine you're player two, and you're constructing your best response to player one's mixture, where sometimes he's voting yes, and sometimes he's voting no. Well, clearly, if you're player two, you have to choose yes as a pure strategy. Why is that? Well, if you vote no, you're obviously getting nothing, because that's what happens if you vote no, you get nothing, guaranteed. But if you vote yes, then whatever percentage of the time player one votes no, you're still getting zero. But some percentage of the time, because remember, player one is voting yes some percentage of the time, if you play yes as player two, then you do in fact get one some percentage of the time. And so that means by voting yes in response to player one's mixed strategy, you get something some of the time. So that's a positive amount of money some of the time. And if you vote no, you're guaranteeing to get yourself nothing. So that means player two in response to player one's mixed strategy must play yes. 
But if player two is playing yes as a pure strategy, that means player one is unwilling to mix between yes and no, because if he mixes between yes and no, that means some percentage of the time he's getting one, and some percentage of the time he's getting zero. And he doesn't like getting zero. He would rather just get one all of the time. And so that's why you guys can't mix in this game. Player one can't mix, player two can't mix, because that just will lead to an outcome where the other one wants to vote yes as a pure strategy, which in turn makes that other player unwilling to mix between those two strategies. And so that means we know that there aren't any other Nash equilibria, so that leaves us with just these two Nash equilibria, the yes-yes and the no-no equilibrium. And again, you can note that weak dominance is at fault here. In fact, both players have a weakly dominated strategy. Yes, weakly dominates no for both players because yes sometimes pays better in the case when the other guy votes yes, and then always pays the same as no when the other player votes no. So that wraps up this topic on the odd rule and infinitely many equilibria versus even number of equilibria. The takeaway point here is that if you're solving a game and you see that you only have an even number of equilibria or you have an infinite number of equilibria, then you want to double check that problem to make sure that you're doing it right. See if there's a weakly dominated strategy there. And if there isn't, then you should really go back and look to see if your solution is correct, especially if you have an even number of equilibria. If you have an even number of equilibria, unless you have some crazy uh, weakly dominated strategies like we have in this game here, then that means you're probably missing another equilibrium and it's probably in mixed strategy. So you should probably run the mixed strategy algorithm on the game in case you have not done that already. Okay, now that wraps up this unit entirely. We're done talking about simultaneous move games. In the next video, we'll start the next unit when we'll start moving toward sequential games where the players are taking turns making moves. And this allows them to think strategically about what's going to happen ahead of time and put themselves into better positions in the end game to do better at the end game by making smart moves at the beginning. And in the next video, we will explore subgame perfect equilibrium, which is the chief equilibrium concept of those sorts of games. So join me in that video, and I will see you then. Take care.